I'm speaking to Dennis Hale, president of the Castro Lions Club in San Francisco. So Dennis, why did you become a lion? <laughs> Good question. I was actually working here at the hotel, and the, the club itself used to have its meetings downstairs. One of the members of the club at that time, who's still a member, uh, invited me to a Christmas party downstairs, and I went to the Christmas party, and I met some wonderfully charming people, and I said to myself, I would like to associate with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have formed some wonderful bond, and uh, I've enjoyed being a member, I guess it's about my eighth year now, and I've enjoyed uh, so the service aspect. I've always been a service person, so uh, joining the club was almost natural, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. You say you've always been a service person. Why, why have you always been a well, service person? I'm, I live in San Francisco. I moved here from the East Coast in 1969. And I'm gay. And the Castro Lions is the first gay Lions Club ever, internationally. But more importantly, I was a political activist during the late 60s. And as the evolution of the species here in the city, uh, I fought against Anita Bryant and all of those movements, and there were other initiatives on the ballot here in the, in the uh, city. And I just felt it was my obligation to do what I could to uh, fight the powers that be in a city that was... It was wonderfully organized, the uh, merchants in the neighborhoods and, uh, and even, even in the fire department, police department, it's in political, as you know, about Harvey Milk. Um, we were all sort of organized, but there wasn't appreciation for gay rights by any means. So, like the police department didn't block off streets, things like that. Uh, they didn't support the gay community. It was illegal to be a policeman and be gay. And so I, I fought for those rights. It's so amazing that now we're fighting for rights to get married. I mm. mean, you know, and divorce. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's a we've, come sword, a long, <laughs> we've come a long way. And uh, I admire all the efforts of all the people that mm. brought it to this point. Uh, Equality is something that is earned, and uh, I'm pleased with how far we've come. Back to lionism. I mean, lionism, God, the things we've done for the Japanese this year, you know, internationally. I mean, just millions and millions of dollars. Our club is 20 active members out of 40 members, mm -hmm. and we donated almost $2,000 to the initiative, I mean, to help the Japanese folk. And uh, we had a, a big major explosion in the neighborhood. San Bruno had a major devastating explosion. And uh, Lions Clubs all over the district came to the aid and helped feed the people who needed it immediately. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just it's a great service organization. Couldn't be prouder. That's, does that answer it? Oh, sure. Uh, well, it... Have a beer. <laughs> Uh, other, can you want to mention some other things that uh, the Cash Lions Club is involved well, in? Or? Initially, it uh, was formed in 1985, I believe. I may be a little off on the years. Uh, and it was uh, merchants over in the Castro area um, who decided to help with the AIDS epidemic to raise funds primarily for AIDS-related organizations. And we still do support all of the, uh, most of the organizations that are AIDS-related 25 years later. Um, but that's why it was formed. And now we, you know, we try to support the schools, the children, and that's one of our things. And uh, holiday uh, uh, needs for, for the needy, for food, for... Uh, for uh, toys for kids, you know. And it's one of those things that's near and dear to my heart because all the way through all the political activism, there's always been that Christmas spirit mm. and uh, a 
the, the city itself, the neighborhood, the Castro primarily, uh, has always been there to support uh, Toys for Tots. Um, one of the early leaders of that was a bartender named uh, Verna May. That was her nickname, Vern Arden. And he just went all out for Toys for Tots for kids. And uh, I carried on that tradition. And now there's many of us doing that kind of stuff. So. Um, and if there's a need, I want to help. Mm -hmm. you know, if it's a legitimate need, I want to help. And uh, we, we have our discussions at our meetings, and then we decide which organizations we're going to give money to this year. Average is about $30,000 that we give, and that's all just our little club, which is, like I say, wow. That's pretty significant. Mm -hmm. And we, we've earned the respect of the district. I mean, we're just one of the favorites. We just had a club address the issue of joining our club mm -hmm. because their club isn't doing so well. And you know how that goes. Uh, rather than disband, they're going to apply to transfer into our club. And they're, they're straight. And mm -hmm. it's wonderful to be admired mm -hmm. throughout the district, knowing that we're gay and they love us. I mean, they're just they we're one of the best. So. And we, we are. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm really proud of it. So do you have some words of wisdom for, uh, you know, Lions Clubs in general in terms of... God, I'm not the one to ask for <laughs> anything like that. I, I, I am okay. part of an absolutely amazing mm -hmm. organization internationally. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I watch our district governors, and you, I'm sure you do too, the effort they put forth when they don't need to to support other clubs, to, to cultivate the, uh, the relationships, the efforts. And each club is a little baby and, and a district governor and then the international governor. I mean, he's, he was just recently here. It's amazing, mm -hmm. you know, and I do see, well, it's amazing that the membership of our club, most of these people do not need to do what they do, you know. Uh, I don't, I, I'm busy. I work full time, and yet I just love my meetings, and I'm just, of course, responding to. We have our annual gay pride uh, parade, and we're volunteering to do some work, and I'm eager to do it. You know, just help make it better. Uh, I, I think the species itself does that, but it's, it takes leaders and uh, a service club like the Lions internationally, is one of the good ones, one of the great ones. So, does that answer that question? Yeah, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's good. Um, I've been speaking to Dennis Hale, president of the Castro Lions Club San Francisco, a very vibrant club, uh, and revealing to us how, uh, how Lions Clubs can really work well. Thanks. <laughs>